What's up guys, welcome back to the next episode of Subterrain. Let's go ahead and control time, go a little bit faster on this tram, shall we? You do actually have to wait all the time to get to wherever you're going. So you do have to take that into consideration. There are certain events that are uh, time sensitive, to say the least. Alright, here we are. Central control. Let's see, we've got a uh, journal here. Alright, tram brought me to central control without any issues. Everything seems fine. It's rather odd, actually. Wasn't exactly sure what to expect when I arrived. But I didn't expect silence. Central tends to be swarming with people, hovering over terminals, talking through the corridors, guards posted up at doorways. Instead, it's a ghost town. The good news is that the oxygen generator seems to be running. Otherwise, I would have suffocated as soon as I opened the tram doors. Hopefully, most of MPO is in similar shape. Maybe I can check the status of each district's life support system somewhere in Central Control. But first things first, I better check on the reactor. Central Control is where power is monitored and distributed through MPO. The reactor is in a secured area, but it's literally down the hall. I can easily access uh, it should it need maintenance. I'll need to keep the reactor in working order as the entire colony is dependent on the power supplied from this location to keep life support online. On top of that, the tram doesn't seem to be able to access any locations that don't have power, so I'll have to keep that in mind. I should explore the area and search for supplies, but more importantly I should look out for the power control console. It's got to be around here somewhere. Murray Space Center's lost power, but uh, if I can reconnect it, I might be able to find a way out of here, or better yet, off Mars. So that's our main goal is for the game, to uh, get off of Mars. <coughs> So, as far as I know, this is the only place we can save. Like, right here in Central. So we'll have to be a little mindful of that. Go ahead and charge up what we can. Yes, yes, oxygen canister. Yes, yes, thermal canister. Don't have any of that stuff yet, but... Uh, we will. This is where I like to store a lot of my stuff. We'll put uh, weapons and whatnot in here if we need to. Store, 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 store. And we'll put uh, we'll put uh, like body wearable stuff here stick there, put my uniform, put another side bag. Seeker, hey! Hey, saw you were on, can't really be long, but wanted to say I'm gonna enjoy watching this. I I hope you do, Seeker. I really like this game. Um, put the, that in there, and put the power pack in there. I don't think I really need to hold on to the batons just yet. Beacon, yes. Never use beacons. Uh, this is where I'm going to be storing most of my stuff through the playthrough. This is my little health container that I'm going to keep. I'll put the food and stuff like that and these kind of things. Organization is very important. And we'll put our raw materials in here. There we go. And of course we'll give a <laughs> a little look around. Yeah. Mm, I don't think we can access this just yet. Here, let me try something. Pretty sure this is one of the recyclers. No. Can't do anything about that. That's fine. Alright, so if you were on easy mode, this is where you would access all of your facilities that involve uh, recycling and stuff like that. It's a remote terminal. Won't work. Need level 2 software or better to function. Yeah, so we have to actually go to the physical place in order to utilize these things. Uh, so that's one of the ways that the game is a bit harder. You can't just do everything from your initial spawn location, or not spawn location, but initial base anyway. Alright, there's a 
thermal canister. That's good. Leave all that stuff in there. This is the thermal regulator. Here is the thing that is controlling how warm it is in the place that we currently are. If we lose that, then, well, we start to freeze to death, which is not great. There's our oxygen canister. We're going to need that. Let's uh, actually just equip these things. And uh, I'll put the... Oops, wrong button. I always forget that uh, it's L3 to do this. I'm going to put the, the empty power pack on right now because I am going to charge it. It's always a good idea to keep uh, an extra power pack on you if you can if you can help it. It's a good idea. And let's check something real quick. Make these a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see them a little bit easier. There we go. They won't super duper get in my way. It'll be fine. Uh, what was our other power pack at? Still 100, huh? Cool. Fine by me. Let's continue exploring the base, shall we? This will primarily be where I'm going to be sleeping. card. Touch tablet. Kind of clear all these places out. Nice. Here's our first real set of weapons here. Got ourselves a pistol, shotgun, and an SMG. Knife, a baton, all that. Alright. My dude's a little tired, but not super tired yet. Bottom left-hand corner, you can see the little Zs. Does anybody know where the Z's came from as far as referring to sleep? I'm kind of curious about that. I have no idea where it came from. No clue. Pretty sure we can find some medical supplies. Yeah, here we go. That's a lot of good stuff. A lot of that stuff I don't really use. Right. Nobody's home. Looks like there's nobody here living or otherwise. Everyone seems to have uh, evacuated, and whatever did this isn't around anymore either. I guess this place is safe for now. May as well set up my base camp here. This would be a good place to stage my escape. Fortunately for me, most of the important facilities for MPO are within walking distance of central control. I don't even need uh, I don't even need to power up those sections to reach them. I could probably reboot the 3D printer and other facilities at Nelson Engineering. Maybe in pr maybe even print out some supplies I need. Herbert Research, where I used to work, has research equipment I could use to feed instructions to the systems in Nilsson. I'll probably have to use the excavator at the mine to gather materials for the 3D printer. I should also check out the biosphere. I could probably use the agricultural system there to supply the bio uh, combiner at Nilsson Engineering, maybe even sustain myself. I should check out each location and see if I can figure out what's going on. At the very least, I can get these facilities restarted. I can prepare myself for the worst. There are a few staircases leading to these areas somewhere around here. I'm sure I'll recognize them again once I see them. Not a soul around. You got that right, buddy. It's just us. I think I'm already wearing this. But, uh, we'll take it anyway. Hell yeah. Got ourselves a beer. We can open up a cold one. Alright, now that we got all that stuff. Nobody around, huh? Check this big, huge suitcase that's the size of a person. Alright. Nice. Key card for the power control room. That's what I was looking for. Always a good idea to search everything. Yeah. I'm, like, never gonna come into these rooms ever again, so... We might as well get our searching in while we can. Hell yeah, cutting board. Not taking that. Oh. Yeah, I barely ever used items in any of my other playthroughs. 
about the only thing I ever used was stuff for healing. And I'll come back here. I'm not going to spend all that time searching all that just yet. That would be a long time. We don't have the key card for the generator room. <clears throat> yet. But we will. So sprinting does make you go faster, obviously. But uh, <clears throat> it does take down your uh, your tiredness meter a fair bit more. Got the power control console. This has got to be the power control console. As usual, there's no one here either. Should be able to control the power uh, for the colony from here as well as monitor the generator's current status. Generator's not resp uh, operating at full capacity, so it should be careful uh, when connecting additional sectors to the power grid. Could overload the reactor if I draw too much power. If I do, it'll overheat and probably initiate emergency shutdown, uh, shutdown sequence. That would be bad. I could end up stranded if I'm not careful. And what's worse, working oxygen filters and temperature regulators can't function without power. Blackout means certain death as far as I'm concerned. I can't just sit here, though. I'll have to power up other locations to gather supplies and gather information if I want to get out of here. There's a lot of consoles around here. If I search them, I might be able to find some information. Let's do it. Alright, so here's the key card for Herbert Research and Nielsen Engineering. Good. Nielsen Engineering. A nano SSD. <clears throat> Research. Power console update. Yes, yes. That's not what I want to do, though. Oh, yeah. There's a little dodge thing you can do. <laughs> I always forget about that. Alright. Power control console. Uh, where's the thing we just picked up? Alright, Dr. Kan, I managed to figure this out. Using the data you got from Dr. Raskowitz... Wickwickwickz? Raskowigs? Anyway. I came up with a user interface modification so that we can calculate the rate of infection from a glance. It's really simplified, but it'll get the job done. First off, we've managed to tap into each district's bioscanners. Thankfully, there are subsystems that are directly powered by the generator, so we won't have to worry about keeping observed... Oh, excuse me. Location's powered. Huh. Each district's infection level is calculated by density. The more there are, the higher the percentage. Once I figure out a better way to calculate population, I'll patch it in. But for now, I just set a high threshold. If a district's above 80%, I'd steer clear of it. I don't even want to think what 100% looks like. Next thing I've added to the UI is infection rate. Dr. Raskowitz, of all people, was right al uh, all along. Low oxygen levels and cold temperatures speed up the rate at which this infection spreads. The infection rate readout will monitor temperatures and oxygen levels and factor that into the estimated rate of growth. Once you get those prototype filters and regulators, the system is prepared to measure up or measure the suppression effect and factor it into those calculations. I don't get any of this, Dr. Khan. I mean, I punched in the data you gave me, but can you explain what's going on in a way I can freaking understand? What's the correlation here? You know what? Screw it. I heard the evacuation announcement. It's just a matter of time before I'm allowed to get the hell out of here and forget uh, all about this. So I'd rather not know just how crappy the situation is. It'd be better to be oblivious of this uh, if this situation is as bad as security claims it is. So yeah, the uh, little things you can read, they give you uh, little insights into things that uh, you should probably pay attention to and whatnot. There's the key for the generator. Let's see here. Martin. Martin, Martin, keep this recording on so you can remember what you need to do. You can do this. I know you couldn't find much at the Space Center, but don't lose hope. We still have, uh, we don't have spacesuits, so I need you to avoid all areas where life support is down. Central Cluster still seems to be okay, so I want you to take the train there. Head over to the mine and try to gather up some supplies. You wouldn't believe the stuff they have in storage over there. You might be able to find some food in the ba uh, back room if it hasn't already been raided. Uh, grab whatever you can find, then head back here so we can get out before those, whatever those were, get you. Please, for the love of God, don't get distracted. Do not run off to the plaza for Choco Pies or anything else. I'm counting on you, damn it. Get what you can from the mines, then head back here. Got it? No Choco Pies. That's an order. Don't forget the key card. It's the only way to open up the Space Center security door and the only way back in. 
need to try to keep more of those things out, and this is the only way. Don't lose it. This is Captain Roger, signing off. Thank you, Captain Roger. Okay, so, from this map we can see how power is looking, what our capacity is for power, our usage, you know, various infection levels and all this stuff. Um, it's always a good idea. What I'm gonna do is actually power down the prison, if I can get this to go over there. There we go. We're gonna disconnect the prison. That'll give us a little bit of power for usage here. Uh, where are we gonna go first? Don't know. But yeah, we're not in the prison anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. All these places have been unpowered for quite a while, and I think all of their oxygen and thermal regulators are gone. They're all busted. So we're gonna have to do something about that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and see what we can power up here. You know what, actually disconnect that. We'll probably go to Heap Herbert Research first if we can help it. Uh, for now though, my dude's getting a little tired, so let's go ahead and take a little nappy nap. So top left-hand corner, you can see the time is going very quickly. Bottom left-hand corner, you can see that we're not tired anymore. Ah. So, let's go ahead and do that. You get a little bit of a bonus to your stats after you've uh, slept and whatnot, so. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Nelson Research, don't have the Biosphere keycard. There's the Research. We don't have the mine. And they've got some extra stuff for us. Let's go ahead and drop some of this random crap we're carrying off. Open the door, dang it. We'll keep uh, food and drink. Here, I've got to remember where all this is going. Basic medical supplies. Put all this in here. And then I've got weapons. Weapons and armor galore. Alright. Alright, we'll make do with uh, what weapons and things that we have with us just right now. Go ahead and head over to research, probably. This was... oh yeah. Canisters, yes. They're all charged, they're all ready to go. I think this one was research? Is this one research? I can't really tell just yet. Yep, this is research. Herbert Research. Can't say it's good to be back, at least in these circumstances. Not that I'd be working here again if they let me out at some point. Man, it's so quiet. I don't see Agatha rambling in her office, or nor do I see Merrick or Jonathan whispering to each other in the halls. Raskowitz isn't strutting around. Dr. Kahn isn't lounging in his regular seat by the bio-research system. There's some shuffling echoes down the hall every so often. My mind's playing tricks on me. I think. There are a pair of advanced research systems on the north side of the facility. I should find out if they're still working. They'll be extremely useful if they are. My living quarters were in the southwest section of the facility. If I look there, maybe I can find some key cards to the other places connected to central control. Or some clues to what's going on. It's the research department. Someone had to have noticed something. High hopes. High pie in the sky hopes, my man. Alright, first things first, we need to do something about this oxygen and something about this, uh, something about this, uh, temperature. Looking real nasty. Go ahead and equip our weapon because, yeah. We're gonna need it. I don't know who that was, but, uh, cherry pie all over the effing wall with that guy. Right. Let's 
try not to waste too much time here. We've got, uh, didn't play here often. Wasn't very social. Let it go, loser. Speaking of billiards, oh. uh, I am going to be looking into possibly getting a pool table here pretty soon. Pretty excited about that. I like pool. Not very good, but I like it. It's, it's still fun. Nothing there. All right. But yeah, I think that'll be pretty neat. Don't want to get too handy with the blaster here, but uh, also. Try to avoid being hit as much as possible in this game. You will die very quickly. That is no exaggeration. It will mess you up. need to find the mine key card. We'll probably find that in uh, one of the other places. Oh, look at you. Ooh. Got some bad mamma jammas to deal with here. Oh, overheated my gun threw it on the ground. Like how my dude's just like, ah, it's too hot. But yeah, that's uh, that's another thing you gotta be careful about in the middle of a fight. Whether or not your gun is too hot. It's me, I burned my little fingies. Oh no. Not my little fingies. Alright. This is my old room. Uh, sounds like some company here. Uh, guess not. Oh yeah, I hear you. All right. My research. You never guess what I snagged off, off Dr. West, pal consider myself a connoisseur of good science. You have to be if uh, you're in my line of work. Now that I've got my hands on something interesting, the real work for us is about to begin. This nanomachine design is going to make me rich. I just gotta find a buyer. He never named it though. I'm gonna call it Minerva. Even the name sounds expensive, right? Maybe it'll make it easier for us to sell since it sounds like some sort of designer bullshit. I think I may be able to find a buyer right under my nose though. If he buys, I'm getting a 90% cut this time, got it? Poor, poor Dr. West. I wonder what would have uh, happened if he didn't have his little accident. Bet his wife is a vegetable by now. Raskowitz! I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. How could my research even be of use to him? Who would have wanted an unfinished product for a disease only one person has? I wonder who he's planning on selling it to. Dun, dun, dun. The plot thickens. Any of my old co-workers loafing around? Key card from Jonathan. Transmission recorded April 14th, 2053 at 2253. America, is the blueprint for the prototype secure? Jonathan. Yeah, I got a hold of it. I stowed it in my private lab at Carson Hotel. I patched my door's security flaw. Those key card those hacked key cards are floating around won't work on it. Our only our key cards will work. I guarantee it. Merrick, okay, good. We can't screw this up. I want to be absolutely sure it doesn't get recovered. Sheridan would have our asses if anyone even knows about this. If someone found the damn thing, we'd be ejected into space. We're leaving ASAP. They've announced an evacuation, some sort of outbreak or some shit. Don't get distracted by it. This blueprint is the only copy. We need to wipe the research database before we leave. They don't want anything left if Earth gets involved before the situation is resolved. We need to pick it up before we evacuate. 
All right, understood. I'll head out and pick it up now. Remember, Jonathan, don't bother showing up if you don't have the blueprint. None of us are going anywhere without it. And delete your call logs this time, damn it. Yeah, about that. So that gave us a little hint as to uh, something we're going to go investigate eventually. Get absolutely busted. Probably shouldn't be spending all this time looking for all this stuff, but... Sphere. I think I already had Biosphere. Alright, let's get going. Those are the bathrooms. Look at that gun, it's huge. Nice. Got some more key cards. Love to see it. Alright, so this is like a storage place. We'll have to go through here eventually and grab all that stuff. It'll be very useful for us. We're going to be spending a lot of our time here. Is here. Let's deal with these guys first. Getting a better heat sink would be a good idea. Nothing to actually search here. Remember, we're looking for this facility and the other one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I know. Alright. So, gotta take that. Put the new one in. There we go. And there's some broken thermal regulators. Okay, so oxygen won't be an issue here anymore. Thankfully. Temperature still is. So we're going to have to take care of that way sooner than later. Mostly because I'm getting notifications for it. I think it's storage up here. for us to find thermal, which here we are. Yeah, there it is. It's like, I know I brought a thermal right. Oh, jeez. Close. Guy was right next to me. I don't know why he didn't attack me. So, we should be good as far as the temperature is concerned. Random thingies. I guess the only thing that's left is to actually head into research. We 
research systems. The Advanced Spectrum Analysis or Analyzer Center I spent a lot of time here when I was working on my research. There are two research systems here, one specialized for biological research and one for technological research. Each research system makes use of a tiny network of nanomachines to break down inserted samples into blueprints that can be used to fabricate exact copies. It's an absolutely ingenious idea. I even borrowed some of the ideas behind its design for my own research. Since whatever I put in the machine here is lost when uh, processed, I shouldn't put anything in that I currently need to survive, like an oxygen canister, unless I'm willing to wait until I can make a new one. These systems are also networked to a think tank AI that specializes in improving designs. I should see if I can make improved equipment by scanning some of the things I found. Blueprints can also be fed into the ma uh, machine manually, should I find any. It confuses the machine a bit, but eventually the AI figured out, uh, figures out it's supposed to be reading instructions rather than making an exact copy of those instructions. All of this data is uploaded to the database that the 3D printer and biocombiner and Nielsen Engineering can access. I can use the, uh, the facilities to make copies of objects I've researched or the improvements uh, the think tank AI has made. Well, let's see if I still know how to use this thing. Alright. Research. Yes, yes. Okay, so this is where research is done. Ow. Jerk. Oh, that's our first hit. <clears throat> Let's try to avoid that from happening again. All right, anyway. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, we're going to have to research the oxygen filter and the thermal regulator, and then... I guess we could also just research a bunch of this other stuff that we have. Uh, sure. There we go. That's everything I had on me. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll research that, and I guess we could also research the power pack, too. I think I've got more back at the base. So that's going to take an hour and 40 minutes for all these things. Not too terribly bad, but, uh, yeah. Anything else in here that I could maybe use? I don't think so. Uh, facility upgrades. Yes, yes. Uh, so this is where you put in your uh, new research software and so on and so forth. Um, the better ones you have, the better... Uh, better things that you can make. I think it also might reduce the uh, time it takes to research as well. But, uh, yeah, I think that's that's that as far as uh, where we're going for here. Let's go ahead and head back to the base while that's all doing its thing. I didn't check here. Nothing there. Actually, research these before uh, before we head out. Getting a upgraded bag would be a good idea. Didn't mean to close that door in my face. There we go. So once those get all researched, uh, we'll be able to make them and possibly upgrade them as well, which will just be super good. From there, we need to. Dead animals. This is Agatha Baxter's office. She was in charge of the Herbert Research Center. Oh, she was something of a cat lady. Oh, so sad. Okay, there's the engineering sub door key card. Got Baxter's phone call. Poor kitties. Didn't mean to use that. know what the heck I used. <laughs> okay. Alright. Where were we? Okay. Baxter's phone call. Murray, I need that research data chip back. I know you're a competent researcher. Nobody's questioning that, but some of your more questionable methods have been getting out of hand lately. I need it back. I'm asking just this once. Baxter, no! My methods are none of your business. 
I'm afraid they are. That's how this relationship works. Your reliability, Agatha. Too bad. It's not even here, Baldy. The chip is in my sweet baby. Mitten, or is with my sweet baby, Mittens. I left it with my little Mittens because uh, she never trusts anyone. She's such a good kitty cat. She's such a cutie. The way she pops in and out of vents like a little meerkat. My itty bitty kitty mole. I told Mittens to never lose it, so I know she's going to do a good job. She'll hide it far away from your gross face. You'll never find her. Uh, Murray, I guess it would be unsettling for you to hear that I already know that that flea bag is somewhere in Viking Square. And that I uh, have a new violin that needs to be restringed. You wouldn't dare! Alright, so that's a Viking Square. You can also check your uh, production status via the square menu. And then reactor status, of course. We're gonna have to do all that eventually. I don't think there's a way I can see my current status. Because I have no idea what I took and what it's doing to me. Let's head back to base. We'll go ahead and uh, check out some of the other places in the next episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. Hope you're liking the series so far. As I said before, I really like this game. So, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.